Hey guys, welcome to yet another episode of Conversations and as usual, uh, Conversations is that channel that will guarantee you an alluring motor vehicle experience. Last time we had an up close and candid review of the Isuzu D-Max and today we are privileged to have uh, the ultimate rival to the D-Max and that is the Toyota Hilux and uh, this car has been supplied to us by Power Mat Motors, uh, Pale Karen. Eh? So if you want to view it, you can just go to Power Mat uh, and I'm a Ukuje to select so that we can guarantee, you know, the, the quality aspects of the vehicle and guide you through the process. Uh, anyway, I'll be your host, Eric Wakabi, Eric with a CK. You can follow me at a personal level on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today we are going to see which one really shines. Is it the Hilux? Is it the D-Max? And uh, just like the D-Max episode, this one is also going to be a fun-filled and very insightful uh, review because there are a few things about the Hilux that people still do not know. And now, up close and candid with the Toyota Hilux. Just before we get up close and candid with the Toyota Hilux, there is some interesting news for you guys. We've got some goodies for you. Sometimes selling a locally used vehicle is hard because you have to go through brokers. Nini kucheza mapii na mabaya, vitu kama hizo. Also, buying one is a hassle. So we have told you about Auto Select by Conversations and remember we have our website www.conversations.africa and there you can, if you have a locally used vehicle, you can post it there, then we can review the vehicle, then we can link you up with one of our clients who is looking for a car that is as good as yours or one that matches the budget. So we are making the car and car buying processes very easy and we say auto select by conversations is your home of quality verified certified cars the Toyota Hilux is arguably the world's most reliable pickup and it comes in two configurations, the single cab and the double cab model. This particular one is the eighth generation of the Toyota Hilux or the AN130. And uh, I know most people would call this in the Kenyan market the Revo and the previous generation the Vigo, but the Revo and the Vigo nameplates are solely for the Middle East market. And it's the eighth generation of the Toyota Hilux and the Toyota Hilux template has you know served Toyota diligently it has never failed it has been used by terrorists it has been used by uh, the defense forces literally if you see a vehicle that has been used by terrorists then definitely that should be one tough vehicle it's a vehicle that is indeed uh, built to be tough eh? now let's talk about the looks it's a very subtle uh, looking uh, pickup and uh, one thing, this is the base model. So with the higher trim levels, you might see a few different aesthetics, but we are going to talk about the trim levels shortly. So if you're buying uh, this uh, Toyota Hilux from uh, Toyota Kenya or zero mileage for the Kenyan market, you will get it in about five trim levels. There is this that is the base. And mind you guys, this is only for the double cab uh, version of the Hilux, the AN130. So this is the base model and uh, it is almost the same as the single cab version of it in fact it's literally the single cab version of it only that it has an extra cab then if you want a little bit more luxury and uh, better looks because if you look at this one it comes even with steel rims so it is very 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 basic so if you want something that is a little bit more uh, more luxurious more premium you go to the other trim level and that is the toyota hilux 2.4 uh, gd6 uh, country uh, the country only comes with a manual transmission above the car and the 2.4 liter uh, 2GD engine. Uh, from the country, you go to the next step, and that is uh, the Toyota Hilux Comfort. Now, the Comfort comes with a six speed manual or a six speed automatic transmission. Then, uh, from the Comfort, we go to the Executive, which now comes with a 2.8 liter 1GD FTV engine. Now, the, the Comfort comes with uh, 
only an automatic uh, transmission uh, and then we head to the topmost trim level and that is the adventure pack of the toyota hilux the adventure is the holy grail in the hilux double cab you know lineage so the adventure comes with a six-speed automatic transmission a 2.8 liter uh, 1gd ftv so it's the most premium of them all so the, the 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 country has you know alloy rims but it's mostly more of the base model uh, the comfort has other features and introduces a uh, you know a, 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 an automatic transmission so you can either get and this is one significant difference between this hilux and the d max is that with this generation it only comes with six speed manual and that tells you something about the fuel economy on this pickup and we are going to talk about that when we see what is under the hood of the toyota hilux this particular one is a 2020 model meaning it's about three years old Oh, the Hilux has been known widely in Kenya for use by the Mira guys because of its power, fuel economy, reliability, and also handling. So those are some of the unique, points, unique selling points of the Toyota Hilux. And it has been put through all forms of abuse, but it has reigned supreme on Kenyan roads. And not only on Kenyan roads, but global roads as well. Under the hood of uh, this particular one is a 2.4 liter, that is 2,400cc 2GD FTV engine. It's a four-cylinder, uh, common rail direct injection, and it has a turbo charger. Well, this engine is very, 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 very fuel economical, and it is also very powerful well uh let's let's talk about this family the gd family or what is called the gd6 now the gd6 is uh, a family of uh, two engines we have the one gd that is a 2.8 liter and it's available on the hilux on the executive and adventure package and we have now this the 2.4 liter that is available on the Hilux, the Hyas, and a few other vehicles, even the basic Fortuna. Uh, quite, quite a number of vehicles. It's cross-shared within the Toyota uh, lineup. Well, let's talk about what these engines are known for. Well, they succeeded. In fact, they are descendants of the 1KD and the 2KD. They share the same, uh, the same principles or even the same qualities, only that they have been downsized. In fact, we can say that the 1GD the one and the 2GD are downsized versions of the 1KD and the 2KD engine. So the 1KD was 3 liter, but its direct descendant, the 2GD, is 2.8 liter. The 2KD was 2.5 liter, but its descendant, the, the 2GD, is 2.4 liter, and that is what we have here. Now, if you're buying the Hilux with a 2.4 liter uh, 2GD FTV, what will you get? It gives you a very decent 150 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. So it has more power and more torque compared to the D Max, even the basic model of the D Max. Uh, the fuel economy on the Hilux is also superb because it can push all the way to 13 kilometers to the liter of diesel. And how comes it's so, both the 1GD and the 2GD, how comes they are so, you know, so economical? It's because they are they are tuned towards fuel economy and power uh, and they utilize thermal efficiency technology the name of the technology that they have used on the 1gd and the 2gd is what is called the estec technology so it's all about thermal efficiency and it's also a relatively high compression engine as well now what if you get the hilux the adventure pack with the 1gd ftv now that is where the fun really comes in because the 2.8 liter 1gd churns out a whooping 204 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque you know that is that is almost uh, sports car territory banner it's it's it, it, it's known for impressive power figures and also impressive torque figures and that's why the 1gd has been used on prados it has been used on some uh, toyota hires it has been used on the fortuna it has been used it's 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 a, it's a brilliant engine it's it's you know for us 1kd purists we were a bit uh, unsure about the 1gd and the 2gd but guess what this engine just you know brought forward a better version of the 1KD. Let's talk about another unique selling point that brings out the fuel economy in the Toyota Hilux and that is the gearbox because the AN130 comes with a six-speed manual transmission. For manual lovers, that is pure bliss. 
I wish they would uh, mate the uh, the six-speed manual to the uh, 1GD FTV because you would you'd get to utilize now that power in a more you know interesting way what about if you do not love manuals and you want the reliability and the f the you know the, the the reliability dependability and also the aspect of fun driving in the hilux but in an automatic transmission uh, format yes you get a six-speed automatic transmission and now the six-speed automatic transmission in the kenyan market is available on the on the comfort uh, and the uh, executive and also the adventure pack of the hilux within the adventure pack we have other limited editions like the gr Yes, if you guys who are watching Rally, you, you might have seen the GR themed Toyota Hilux. So that's actually a limited edition of the Hilux that carries some GR aspects. The other thing is that Toyota Kenya might be soon launching a hybrid version of this. Interesting times lie ahead. And now let's talk about the side profile and see what we have at the suspension because there is something very, very, very interesting about the Hilux AN130's front suspension. Since this is the best model, it comes with the uh, rims and mabati. But now this is one that will take you anywhere. You, 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 you're not even worried about the kind of, uh, you know, terrain or potholes that you're going to encounter when you have this. But the other, uh, you know, more premium versions do come with very good looking alloys. Now, let's talk about suspension. Uh, the Hilux has a rear wheel drive bias and it comes with a selectable four wheel drive. Now, at the front, since you have a, long a longitudinal mount, you have double wishbone, uh, you know, suspension at the front. And not only double wishbone, do you know that you have what is called EKDSS at the front of the Hilux? And that's why it handles like a dream. And that is why it is also able to maintain the, the stability that it has when you're driving this car fast. So we have talked about KDSS uh, with the Prado. And when you talk about KDSS with the Prado, it's normally at the back. But with the Hilux, you actually have what they are calling EKDSS. On the rear, you have a, a live axle or solid axle, meaning the tube diff, but the differential is what is at the middle. So you have a live axle, two shafts inside, and uh, uh, you have a propeller shaft that delivers uh, power to the rear wheels. Uh, the rear suspension is basically a leaf spring setup, and the leaf springs are overstrap. Uh, they are overstrung, meaning they are on top of the 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 tube yes so ziko ziko ju if they were under zinge chini so that's another thing that they do share with the D Max they have a solid rear and most of the double cabs like they now the when it comes to the braking system you have ventilated front discs and rear drums sasa but about the rear drums well they are uh, we will see what the, the the other generations will come to bring. We have seen other pickups come with rear discs such as uh, the Amarok and also the new Haval P. Uh, they're called the P series pickup of Haval. The Zikona rear discs. But I don't know how how good the discs will handle on a pickup. But okay, well in the single cab you will only get drums. But since this is more premium, I think they are okay. Uh, unless you have an electronic handbrake because of the actuators because you know these cars are meant to be driven off road let us see what is packed up in the interior of the toyota hilux because if you compare the interior of the basic hilux double cab it is more <laughs> premium compared to the almost the, the the second highest trim level of the d-max that is why i told you one thing that isuzu east africa while it's new masana the interior so let's check out what is inside the Hilux. Even in the basic most Hilux double cab, you still feel that there is that premium feel, especially comparing it to the Isuzu D-Max. The design is very trendy and you have a better infotainment system compared to that of the D-Max, including the sound. And mind you, this is the very basic Toyota Hilux. The other interesting thing about it is that you have 
uko na six six gears so unlike the d-max where reverse is here now this is number six so reverse is on the extreme uh, left hand side um, extreme left yeah extreme left left mbele that is reverse uh, it doesn't have a range splitter because most other the other pickups that do come with a six-speed manual like the ford ford ranger you have to pull up the the the, the knob so that it can engage engage reverse and that is one very innovative design with the locally assembled toyota hilux now you also get uh, uh you know an electronically shifting four-wheel drive system you can shift from h2 h4 and h uh, and l4 now h4 is four wheel high l4 is four wheel low you also get a diff lock yes yeah, so it has an electronically controlled diff lock and that is another unique selling point of the toyota hilux well basically and even in the basic most hilux you're still getting steering controls you can increase the volume of the infotainment system and even change the mode pick up a, a call and mind you this is the best model of the hilux double cab so what it has to offer even compared to the isuzu d max it's it's more premium it's arguably more premium in time in terms of value for money the other thing uh let's drive this car with the boys and a girl and get to see how it performs how it drives is it better than the d-max is it faster compared to the isuzu d-max so guys yes sasa duko kwa hilux yes it's uh, what do you think i feel the ride quality is even better than on the d-max i agree it feels different it feels, it feels different. more nicer and and it, i don't know you guys will tell me but i feel i'm also more up above the ground than you'll be in a d-max uh, yeah the command the command it, it's it's high eh? it's, it's quite high it's it's uh, yeah, and, juu sana. and i feel like i'm ready and i'm ready to tackle the off-road i feel like i'm going to do it i'm going to do it six two ah <laughs> uh, nice Huh? It's good leg. It has good leg room, eh? And when we happen uh, you pretending to be uh, No, I'm not pretending. <laughs> Have you seen the pictures from Oloko? <laughs> I'm not... always very tall. He's 26. <laughs> <six. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> so can we can we see because it has basically I think it it's better in terms of the driving thrill and the driving experience. Yes. But it has packs in more horsepower, more torque compared to the D-Max. I don't know. When they did a bit quality is I can say there is much better things here than you'll find in the D-Max. True. Kwanzia hapa katikati. Even though this thing looks weird, but the weirdness in it still looks better than the D-Max. <laughs> yeah, <way> better. <laughs> eh, black piano is with like a piano black, zvi piano nini. There's some nice decent things you can There's not much talk about in a pickup. But this one, noise insulation. Ah. And I want you as you're saying these things I want you to remember that this is the base version this is the best of the Hilux. Ah. In ile of the of the double cab that is. Nice. So and that we yes, see we, how how far. Yes, you see last time you were in a Hilux. You were given a very huge uh, yeah. funny looking Hilux no, that it was, you really it was, loved. Eh? It was uh, modded for off-road. Yes. But for us we could not we will not do 0 to 100 and that one that one in kuangusha mm. so this one i think will get a fair opportunity to perform as but, but also 100. that was a different version of the hilux ah yeah that was was the was the a30 this one sounds better it sounds better and it also picks up quite well how much how much uh, d max will fanya ngapi 15 seconds 15 seconds yes yeah, 15 seconds Let's see what the Hilux can do. Uh, but I'm very optimistic that this is, this is better than than uh, the D-Max. Yes. It's show better time compared to the D-Max. Ni mana hizi gari zinabeba miraa bwana. Zinaenda kuenda. But but we might lose some time on the wheel spin. Yeah. Uh-huh. The wheel might spin. We might lose some time on the wheel spin. So I think so we we'll go ready? there and come back or you want to launch from Let's here. Let's launch it from here. Okay. Mm. Okabi in 1 2 3 go. Thank you. Very good launch. Very good launch Wakabi. Call a hundred on your seat. Ah. Wakabi. Eh. Eh. 12 13. Eh. 
15.71 scoring the same numbers as the Dimax as the Dimax but naweza tetea hii gari eh eh naweza tetea hii gari kwa sababu yes. it is very light uko nyuma and you can tell uki shift gear still happy it's still happy mm. wheels in a spin kiasi mm. so you've yeah. had a bit of luggage but, but one thing i must confess uh-huh. is you have enjoyed driving this and so you see mbona kuna fanya hivi kwa Dimax eh oh kabi you know i patia inapokea eh you've ridden this car very nicely eh acha ni nyamaze ni wachia hapo sio but but yane team score team score tuanze na the lady in the house yes the lady is fast what an empathy Mpatie mpatie mike kama wale ma, 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 ma vloga wale. Itabidi watu wacheze na wacheze na time pesa. Ah tu sikizi acheza ngi na tiny pesa. Si ndio? Eh bana. Acheza na time pesa tunulie mrembo mike. Aache kupewa mike kama 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 kina taxi wataje. Sawa team score. For me I'd give it a 10. Very nice. Very nice. Because you see the inside mm. it's not like the dmax it's a bit better it has a lot of features mm. and also and it just looks good for me it's and, a good car and the drive quality you and feel anything d- better than even the, the drive quality is better yeah yeah fantastic mr mbugwa richard for me it's a 10 out of 10 uh-huh. Kakawaida gari ni nini? Gari ni Toyota. Gari ni Toyota. Oh, shambo kizo No, I mean this guy is a workhorse. We've seen it in action. No doubt like it can go anywhere and it can survive anywhere. The the the, the red quality. I mean hata hata huo msi wa Miranda ndio maana nakimbisha hii gari. It provides everything. It provides everything for you. I mean it's a good car. Mm. For me it's a 10. Ina goja ukabeta ipatia max ambacho but for me I'm going to deny some few points. Uh-huh. Just a 0.5. So uh-huh. I'm going to give you a 9.5. Uh-huh. Uh, and and there is the reason why I'm denying it. One, just one reason. Yes, it's because it has sensitive injectors. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. That are not as re- it's not you see we know Toyota for being hiyo ndio ilikuwa inafaa ikuwa inafanya kitu nyenye Dimax inafanya. The resistance bit of it. Like you can abuse it unaweza sawa kidogo weke mafuta mbaya au kunye mafuta ya Marsabit yes. bado survive. Kwa nini unataka kusema Marsabit kuna mafuta mbaya? Ndio. Ka be stop putting words in my mouth. So for that reason I feel on the sensitivity side of Wakabi it loses a little bit but I, I hope that is something that can be taken care of something that you can improve I don't know if you can have najua wa Kenya wanakuanga all over the world people will always come up with solutions to that kind of problem so I think that to me is the only downside in this car but away from that it wins in so many other so many other factors okay my my view on this yes. this car ultimately wins over the Dimax yes sabu story injectors mm. Basically we can call it a negligence. Ukikunywa mm-hmm. mafuta chafu, you know what happens. Mm-hmm. Even the manufacturer tells you because of the high pressure nozzles mm-hmm. and the common rail. Tafadhali tumia mafuta sa Makosa makosa si sisi ukabi. Makosa ni watu wa kuuza mafuta. Kafengo fuel station. Uh, you and me know for a fact there is no one who drives to a petrol station want to uh, planning to buy bad fuel. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so you see you need a car that can prepare you for both but, scenarios. So the Dimax is more it's more resistant. It's more resistant. Yes, yes. you can get kafengo <laughs> itafanya fanya hivi kidogo but ukieka mzuri unaendelea. Inaendelea. This one it might be costly. Ah, Itakwambia bro 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 bro. Exactly. You Kwanza can... ukiwa na hii AN130 yona imetoa moshi. Uh-huh. Alam. Because generally hi-fi it's a very clean unit. Ah. This is Euro. These these ones are okay. I th- they, they might the GD6 were Euro 4 I guess. Yeah. yeah. So in terms of Euro rating it's a bit higher than the Dimax. The Dimax, right? Yeah. Mm. Perfect. Tuje tupatie team score mano. Team score yangu mi gari nitaipatia 9.5. Agreed. Nitaipatia 9.5. It wins everything over the Dimax. Yes. Apart from it's more powerful, it's more economical, it's everything but in terms of hardiness. Yes. Dimax iko na Not that nozzles kukufa, usitaweka zingine. Eh na kuna kitu muongea juu ya limited slip differential. Eh Dimax iko na limited slip differential. Yeah, ina. Yeah, ina. Now that is another thing. And also the spare parts we are getting. Something the you say mm-hmm. that the Dimax is more off-road capable. Yes, compared to this one. But this one is a workhorse. This one is a workhorse. Most, of, most of the time you need a workhorse for business. But if you're an adventurous guy like Eric who wants to go off-road, 
truck, do business with the car at the same time, I think the team exceeds better. No, the, the, the problem now, the yes. Garimbil is in a cut, a very interesting niche. Yes. If we talk about doing business, mm -hmm. you know, this one in terms of fuel economy, it go, it go above the D-Max, yes. right? Yes. But there is now these other, these other um, cost of maintenance. aspects, cost of maintenance, you could do, but you know, you can never go wrong with a Hilux. Yes. Hilux, he you can cost parts. Mm -hmm. Unaweza nunua kwa wasi wenye wanatoa parts huko Dubai second hand part dealers. Mm -hmm. With the D-Max it's a bit difficult. Ah. You get. Yeah. So I I think it's it's a matter of where are you located? Yes. What do you do with the vehicle? Mm -hmm. And even what do you it's it's basically for you to choose between a Hilux and the D-Max. You need to know the D-Max is value for money. You yes. need to know what am I looking for? Yeah. Agreed. So it, it, it's, it boils down to your needs. Yes, your needs. Happen your needs, Kapsa. Perfect, man. Okay. Mm. So total score quite getting 39 out of 40. 39 out of 40 is a good score. Very yes. good score. Dimax is going to be 38.5. Ah. I don't know that you do the same. 38.5? Yes. I'm saying relative. I love value for money. Value for money. Let's talk about value for money. Remember the other DMAX we got from Power Mart that was equivalent to this. Um, only that it was slightly higher in terms of trim uh, it it was going for 4.5 million Kenya shillings the same amount of money that you're getting the base model of the Toyota Hilux and mind you these are 2020 it is not zero mileage it was bought zero mileage so it's only three years old in the Kenyan market so it's a relatively new vehicle and for 4.5 million Kenya shillings irrespective of it being a basic model you're getting more power more torque better comfort compared to the Isuzu D-Max and is in as much as the D-Max is uh, very very reliable and uh, you know it's also very hardy this one now the Hilux uh, packs in everything in a better way compared to the D-Max it has more torque in fact it has 80 newton meters of torque more than the D-Max it has uh, close to 20 horsepower more than the D-Max the 2.5 variant of it and remember it has a smaller engine it has better fuel economy compared to the Isuzu D-Max and it even has better driving dynamics it's a six speed it has more power it handles better than the D-Max so for 4.5 million Kenya shillings, if I was asked, would I buy the D-Max, would I buy the Hilux? The Hilux is a better vehicle, let's, let's be honest, but depends again on usability. Remember, when it comes to suspension, the D-Max wins in terms of suspension, how the suspension holds up. And the other thing about Hilux is that the cost of ownership if you're buying parts from the local dealer for the hilux they are more expensive compared to those of the isuzu d-max so i think talking about that what comes down to either owning a hilux or a d-max is what you are using the vehicle for so the d-max suspension will hold up better in off-road conditions the other thing is that the d-max is more susceptible even to fuel that is not very clean it has uh, stronger nozzles but now with the hilux with the injectors and everything so again the d-max does win in terms of the the, the, the levels of uh, you know abuse it can stand compared to the hilux and that is what i was telling you now it depends on when you're buying this how much money do you have what do you intend to use the car for and uh, again what kind of driver are you? Because if you're a rough driver, the D-Max will disappoint you with the clutch. Udakuna Badalisha is a clutch, very, very, especially if you have a driver who is not really, really, really used to driving manuals. I've been your host, Eric Okabi, Eric with the CK. I hope this has been an insightful episode. Uh, please remember to subscribe to the channel and share your feedback on our social media platforms, Conversations on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.